thank everybody for coming out first. Uh, it's great to have a nice little audience here. So what I did today is I made vegetarian burritos with uh, chorizo instead of regular uh, chorizo. And this is, uh, this is really good stuff. It's uh, sold at most su supermarkets now. You don't have to go to like specialty stores anymore. And tell us what it is. It's, uh, it's just, it's, it's basically it's flavored tofu. And it makes, um, it makes a very good um, replacement for regular chorizo, which is very fat and very unhealthy for you. So what I did today is I made, um, made quinoa which is uh, it's a grain from South America and it's uh, you know just a little bit better for you than rice so that makes it a little bit different it makes it you know funky, funky it up a little bit Amy's refried black beans which are all organic everything in here is organic and I, so I heated up potatoes um, and then uh, I heated up the sodiso and then I also made plantains as well and those are the only things in this that are cooked everything else in it is completely raw because I think that it's good to have at least 50% of each meal raw. Um, cooking food, will, uh, it, it, it messes with the, uh, the enzymes within the food and uh, it will destroy some of the nutrients. So we want to make sure that we get as much of the nutrients that come in this good organic food as possible. How long have you been eating vegan? I've been vegan for 12 years, um, 27. So um, it's, been, it's been a long time, long learning process for myself. Um, and, uh, what about the beginning days? The beginning days were the beginning days were rough. It's, that's for sure. I mean, I grew up. I grew up in an interesting time where um, you know a lot of these food companies they were doing a lot of you know I kind of see it as experiments with like a lot of the food that they started you know giving us like you know gushers and you know like these fruit roll ups and there's all this like processed sugar and flavors and there's no real food in any of it. And I grew up on that and I ate fast food every day. I was at college junior and you know McDonald's and. You know, I got to the point where I was 15 and I was 220 pounds, and that's crazy. And uh, my, me and my brother decided that we were going to do this vegetarian thing together, and here I am now, 12 years later, and um, you know, I wouldn't wouldn't change it for the world. It's the best thing I've ever done. As somebody who cooks vegan all the time, and I can vouch for him because I've eaten with him over and over again, and there is no like. Just give me a little hamburger. There's none of that. He's not interested in anything that isn't vegan. So tell me, tell me the biggest mistake you ever made cooking vegan. Oh, the biggest mistake that I've ever made? I would say in the beginning, uh, just, just grabbing anything that said vegan on it. I didn't really do any research about maybe what that company was and what their principles were and actually the ingredients within it. Because a lot of the stuff that they advertise as being vegan now still has the same you know, uh, ingredients list that's half a page long and it looks like an essay when all it should really be is four or five things. So I think in the beginning, it took me a long time to be able to really get to the source of the food and I was lost in the label. So actually being vegan is not just eating vegan. It's sort of like a puzzle. There's a lot of pieces to it, right? Are yeah, there... yeah, absolutely. Um, what are your pieces to your puzzle? Well, I think that, you know, the being very mindful of the food that you're eating and with that being very mindful of the companies that you're supporting, I think is, um, is number one in the puzzle because they will. Uh, companies are going to sell whatever they, whatever is desired. It could be it could be you know as close as you want to some you know toxic concoction of all these you know processes, or it could be the most organic and healthiest food for you. And the companies aren't going to care whatever it is. So I think that it's important for us as co consumers to really pick and choose who we want to who we want to support and what we want them to sell and what we want to be able to eat. You know, as far as it being labeled and where it came from and you know just uh, a lot of those things and then I think that the ma another major part of the puzzle is um, you know getting in touch with whatever your spirituality is you know doing I, I highly recommend yoga and meditation and exercise and being out in nature and just getting in touch back in touch with with nature and what's the best thing you've ever made this right here segue this right here Okay, well, why don't you show us how to make it? Okay, so that, like I said, I, uh, I already had made pre-made the potatoes just in some uh, coconut oil here, and then I just did a little bit of uh, um, Himalayan, sea, uh, Himalayan salt and some pepper. And then I chopped up all my vegetables, so I have a jalapeno in there, lots of garlic, some onion, uh, red bell pepper, 
and some mushrooms as well. And all that stuff there is all raw. And then as well as I, I heated up um, plantains with the coconut oil as well and I seasoned it with some chili powder and uh, cumin. Does everyone know what a plantain is? Raise your hand if you don't. Raise your hand if yeah. you don't. It's good. It's good. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a, like a sibling to the banana and it makes the food real sweet, real, real nice sweet flavor in it. And um, so then yes, I did the quinoa, the black beans, and just put everything together with some avocado on the bottom and wrapped it up in the tortilla. The, I, I like to use this Lefe company. It's just only flour, water, oil, salt, and baking powder and, and some yeast, and that's it, nothing else in it. And so, so there's a little unhealthy thing in most cans. Do you want to talk about uh, that? Yeah, for sure. Um, so Amy's, this company here, they do a lot of really good things, not only providing healthy food, but they also take it a little bit further. So for this can here, there's no BPA in the lining. And I think that that's very important because we don't really make those connections when we're eating food is what it's actually stored in. And BPA, which Marion knows quite a bit about, is quite dangerous. So I think that it's important to be able to get something that's, that's served without it so you don't have that worry. I walk the fancy food show in San Francisco every year and they were talking about how um, some of the things like canola oil which normally is lined in BPA they're changing the packaging so that that'll be healthier for you and it's the same thing with cans you know we never think of cans being unhealthy did we know that there's a plastic lining in a can I didn't so these are the little things that we discover Thanks to the internet. And so as we discover them, we tell you about them and hopefully you're aware and that's the first step in all of this, becoming aware. Are you enjoying your samples? Good, good, good. And it's vegan, vegan. Good, good. How many people do Meatless Mondays? Anybody? So this is a perfect thing to do. <laughs> you do Meatless every day, Meatless Monday, Meatless every day. <laughs> Let's hear it for Dylan.